Hello and welcome. I wanted to do this video today as a sort of response to a viewer request that I got a while back. Somebody was actually asking me if I could do a review explaining color discs. Uh, I figured I'd do one better. I would do three videos dealing with color change options relative to lightsabers. The first of them I'll deal with the cheapest option that's out there, which is color discs or color filters. The second video will deal with day blades, and the third video will deal with RGB options, uh, either connected to a soundboard or through multiple switches, just using different LEDs themselves. So to start off, let's take a look at color discs and what they are. For any of you who've seen that term floating around and wondered exactly what you were buying, it's this. All right, what I have here is a bag of color discs from Ultra Sabers, and they are rather thick colored plastic discs. You now these are the same things that you're going to see in a lot of board games used as counters, and you can actually use those counters that you get in board games instead of these if you'd rather. Um, but what I have here, this is a set of 12 different color discs, uh, different shades of blue and red, etc. Um, what they're best for, you see this option marketed with silver or white sabers. Reason being, here we have a white saber. Shows up on the camera as a little bit bluish, but this is solid white, like you're gonna get out of a flashlight, really. All right. If I've chosen that option, and I want a little bit of variety with my color, uh, I pop in a color disc. For instance, a blue one. What I end up with is a light blue. Just to show you the difference between that and the silver, Silver, light blue. This one comes up a lot brighter because it's, it's a smaller blade. All right, I end up with a light blue. If I want that color to become more vibrant, I can add more color discs to it. Three color discs, and I have a much darker, almost a royal blue, but not quite, but approaching it. Now, that's one thing about color discs. Uh, yes, it gives me some variety. It gives me the ability to change the color of my lightsaber if I'm not happy with it. Um, there's a limit, though. I will never approach with color discs the vibrancy that I will get with, uh, with a standard colored LED. So, for instance, got one of my blue ones stuck in here. Okay. For instance, let's say that I wanted, I had a silver and I wanted it to be red. I can add three red color discs and I'm going to get a pretty decent red. It's kind of a dark red. Okay, with one color disc I'm going to get a more washed out red. Okay, here's one color disc of red. Actually kind of gives me a pink. Okay, but still, compare that, those three color discs of red to one saber just running a standard red LED. And while I end up with a similar color, the vibrancy of this red puts that other red to shame. Okay, some of that doesn't translate onto the camera. But I'm never going to get as nice a red with color discs as I do with the standard red LED. So that's the limits of a color disc and kind of what they are. Uh, one thing about them, you can also use color discs to change or shade the color of a, of a colored lightsaber. Red, never really going to happen. Red is a little bit of a strong color, but let's say that I've got blues here and I want to add some blues to a red saber. Okay. It starts to really dim the saber and all I get is a muddy red. The red just comes through as much as it's going to. All right. That said, I have had a little bit of luck with using some yellow color discs on a blue LED to get sort of off blues or shades of green. It can be done. Uh, you can brighten up a red, color, or the, a red colored LED with some pink discs if you like. You can actually turn it into orange, but you're working within the spectrum of that original LED. The blue, uh, we're never going to turn a red saber blue, and we're going to have a lot of trouble turning it purple. 
but I can turn it into mixes. I can turn it into oranges. I can turn it into, uh, I can, well, mostly oranges with a red or greens with a, uh, with a blue. So that's kind of the range that I've got with a color disc. The other option that's out there are Lee filters, or these are actually Apollo filters. There's a few different manufacturers of these things, and these are pretty handy. You can either pick these up as, or, uh, as free demos, or you might pay a couple of bucks for them. And what you get is a bunch of swatches of different colored filters. All right, you have to freehand it, but you cut discs out of those filters. I have very uneven discs here, and I'm dealing with a homebrewed red or blue color disc. All right, now these things work pretty much the same as the color discs that you get from the manufacturers. I'll pop a blue color disc from Ultra Sabers in this side, and I'll pop a blue Apollo filter disc in this side. And I end up with virtually the same blue on each side. Uh, the upside of the color discs, they're pre-cut for you and they're heftier, so I can turn the saber upside down and they just fall out. Uh, whereas the filter discs that I cut out tend to get stuck to the LED and I have to unscrew the LED to get them out sometimes or really shake the heck out of it. Um, so the upside of the color discs, they're easy, they're pre-cut. Uh, the upside of the filter you can see that you have a lot more option. You have to freehand cut them, but as long as it covers the LED and fits within the tube, and there's a lot of wiggle room right there, as long as both of those things happen, you end up with, uh, with something that works. You end up with a lot more variety of color, uh, a lot more mix and match potential, and it actually costs you a whole lot less. So I'm a big fan of getting creative with filters. Uh, if you're just looking for straight up red or straight up blue, the color discs are easier to use and pre-done. You don't have to worry too much about it. If you've got the time, these work. You just have to dig them out of the saber sometimes. So anyhow, that's pretty much color discs. The more of them you use, the more vibrant the color gets, but the dimmer the saber gets. They're primarily designed to work with silver, though they can be used for other colors. And you can either buy the pre-bought one or buy the pre-established ones or make your own with a color swatch set. Hopefully this has been of use to you. Next time around, we're going to explore a little bit more of an expensive way to do this, which is with day blades, which is kind of like if you imagine your entire blade being a color disc, that's what you're dealing with with a day blade. So join me back for that one, and please subscribe if this has been of use to you.